okay so many of you have asked that what is auto pip and what is the mechanism so to understand this we simplify the respiratory system into three parts the proximal airway pressure opening the proximal airway and the alveolus themselves so what happens in a patient who is normally breathing during inspiration the intrathoracic pressure uh, means the chest expands the intrathoracic pressure falls the intraalveolar pressure falls it becomes low as compared to proximal airway pressure and the air gets sucked in during expiration what happens uh, the chest collapses the intrathoracic pressure rises the intraalveolar pressure rises and then the extra air comes out through the proximal airways and they stop at a point where the proximal airway opening pressure and the alveolar pressure becomes equal uh, they become in equilibrium and what we call as p positive and expiratory pressure means positive pressure at the end of expiration but in a copd patient or in a patient who is having severe bronchospasm or bronchial narrowing uh, what happens during expiration in that particular amount of time of expiration the whole of the air of the alveolus cannot get emptied completely and small amount of air remains in the alveoli and this small amount of air generates a extra positive pressure which we call as intrinsic peep so the total peep now which remains at the end of expiration is the peep which we have applied and the intrinsic peep which the patient has generated themselves so it becomes auto peep so the total peep of the patient become the peep external peep which we has applied and plus the intrinsic peep and auto peep because it is automatically generated i hope this clarifies do read more about it